Yes, I know you're excited because this is gaming on the Mate 30 Pro from Huawei. Yes, when Huawei announced this device last week, I was really excited and finally I get to play games in this device. Now, the Mate 30 Pro, it packs a ton of features from four cameras to 40 megapixel cameras, all that fun stuff. And it sounds pretty cool, but no, no, we care about games in this video. We'll check out camera later and uh, trust me, that camera is dope. But let's start off with some of the things that we care about with the device, right? It's got a new chipset, the Kirin 990, seven nanometer chipset. Uh, just to warn you guys, none of the games are optimized for the chipset yet because this device is not out and not, nothing is available for it yet. But as you saw, I got to do some gaming on here, right? We've got eight gigs of RAM on the system. This device has 256 gigabytes of storage, right? So we've got all the things we need. We've got a brand new 6.53 inch display. It's that nice curved display. Uh, it's kind of like a waterfall display. It looks really good. Uh, what I like about it is the edge curving. So when you move your wallpaper across, you can see it go through, but it doesn't, it has such, it has really good edge detection that it doesn't bother that your hand touches the edge there. I like that. And they treat it as three distinct um, uh, touch zones the main screen and your two edge screens, right? That being said, uh, because of that, there's only a power button, there is no volume rocker. It's, you know, it's really interesting because you just tap above the volume, uh, the power button, double tap it, and that gives you a volume rocker. It's easy to use. Uh, I heard some people in some hands-on saying, ah, it was iffy, I found it really easy, no issues. Works every single time. And because it works every single time, you know there has to be some gaming application. That area, those touch areas on the sides can be mapped to your trigger buttons. Yes, you. if you watch closely as I was gaming earlier, I was tapping on the top of the screens as my trigger buttons, which is great, which means you can map that as an L and an R and all you have to do is when you power up your game, your game center is on the corner, you can swipe that out and go ahead and map the buttons for whatever you want to do within the game of your choice. Now this game center also allows you to keep the buttons uh, visible or you can make them disappear. You can, you know, uh, optimize for the game. You can optimize for, you know, ethernet. You can also do uh, block calls, all that fun stuff that you expect uh, in most game centers. But please definitely add FPS counter. It makes my life much easier. Anyway, we've got that. So of course, gaming is going to be something I'm going to spend some time with. So let's not waste any more time and get into some gaming. We're playing some Fortnite, which you can download off the Huawei App Store, and PUBG Mobile, which I installed an APK for. In terms of gaming, it's really fun using it with trigger buttons. Uh, I really enjoyed that on the ROG phone too. So having this here on a flagship device that is not a touch sensitive area and it's just part of the phone itself is a huge plus. I like it a lot and I think a lot of people will like this too. Um, it's such a really nice feature and it rotates if you rotate the phone, really doesn't matter. It's, you know, it's like that instantaneous. So really nice, uh, uh, lovely display as well. Gaming performance was really good. PUBG handled really well. I had no issues whatsoever. I, I wasn't able to get extreme in terms of um, uh, graphical performance. Uh, 
because again, this is not this is not PUBG that you can download for the Mate 30 Pro. I just threw in an APK. Uh, Fortnite also ran well. There was one or two weird glitches, so I'm thinking again, this might not be the most current version for this chipset because this is the first Kirin 990 chipset. So I, I don't think there's anything available because. There's no release date yet for this device. But overall, my gaming performance with this or my gaming experience was really good. I enjoyed it. I really like gaming with this device. Now, it doesn't run hot. I, I, I like the, so while we talked about a graphene layer, cooling area over the chipset that they have, uh, it works out really well. My temperatures ran between 94 to 96 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, so that's really good. Uh, unlike the iPhone, which I just did a gaming video on, that ran up to 100 degrees. Uh, so this run runs much cooler in general. So take that as you as you see it, guys. Now in terms of audio, it sounds really good. Uh, the speakers sound good, stereo speakers. There's no Dolby Atmos or anything like that. It's nice, it's clean, it's really clear. But here's a speaker test for you. Now that's impressive, 109.8 decibels, making it the loudest speaker we have right now uh, that I've, I've tested this year. Now, there could be other ones, but for flagship devices, it's the loudest. Uh, it beats out the ROG Phone 2. Uh, that being said though, this is a really good speaker. It sounds good, uh, I'll just put it that way. I think it's good, it's clear, it's, cl it, it's clean. Now. As a device as a whole, I'm gonna do more videos for you guys. I know some of you are gonna be asking me, what about the camera? You're gonna see some camera samples I'll post up. I'm doing a camera video coming up uh, really soon uh, against the iPhone, so definitely check that out. But gaming performance on this device is really, really good. I am quite impressed. You know, you've got the Kirin 990, you've got eight gigs of RAM, you've got a 4,500 milliamp battery, a massive battery in there, so that's actually pretty cool. Uh, a 40 watt charger comes with it. It's got reverse wireless charging. It's got so many features on there. And the new camera features are insane. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this gaming video. I can go on and on and on, but you stay tuned. We'll have more videos on the uh, Mate 30 Pro uh, that you'll be interested in seeing. If you have any questions, any comments, let me know. If there's anything you want me to check out or showcase, leave them down below. Otherwise guys, thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.